Okay, hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm gonna be fixing this guy up which is an iPod Touch 5 which I've named my cheap pod. So this thing has a battery which basically does not work. It works but it's only okay if you play music. Yeah? So it will play music for a few hours, like at least a day, non-stop. But once you turn the screen on and use it, it'll probably die in like half an hour. Maybe not even that, maybe like 15 minutes. So this is not acceptable yeah because i actually want to have this guy on me when i'm riding my bike or something like that and i needed to like take notes so if i want to go to a shop sale and i'll be like buying this 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 and i don't have exactly that much money i'll actually put it what i need in the notes sometimes this will do the job sometimes it'll just die and you fuck basically yeah so that's why i do not want to use this right now until i actually have a nice battery so i've bought battery for myself which is right over here yeah see Bought this guy from Sam Hopeng in Jakarta Pusat, so central Jakarta yeah, basically. Okay, so see this thing's not even turning on right now. Well, it is okay. See, look at the battery. Yeah, now it's like at the high of a percentage. See, and let me go run. See, that it's not dropped quite a lot. And try run something. I I have these old games. Yeah, let's try blockheads. So say you have blockheads open, it'll probably not even open anything. But it actually is open, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But it will not open for that long. So see ya. So um here's my Apple game thingy if you wanna see low battery and it's gonna die. You're fucked. Okay, so let me go <laughs> Um open the battery up first basically, yeah, because that is what I think is the most important bit for this third on day. Without the battery, I'm also fucked. So yeah, let me go open this thing up. Okay, put this paper thing away. Now we shall cut this open. Mm, I think this should show me the battery. Okay, it says touch 5 on the battery, like, box in here, let me show this outside, yeah? Okay. <coughs> it says touch 5, let's see if it is a touch 5 battery, so, pull this guy up. It does not seem very original, but I think this is an original, I'll show you, yeah. so, there you go. Oh, but you actually have an Apple logo on this guy, which means that I think it is... Which is not much of there. So, this, this, I'm not sure. So, so uh, I've not held anything Apple for quite a long time. I used to sell iPhone 6 parts, but not now anymore. I mean, not anymore now, yeah. So, yeah, this is here. I am not selling parts anymore because of the fact that Chinese parts are very, very cheap right now, yeah. So, you can buy Chinese parts. For your iPhone X, XS, 11, 12, 13, 14, those things are really cheap. Like, screens go for like 300,000 rupiah, which is like um, $20, I think. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Something I do not want to sell. So, um, let's put this thing away. <coughs> and let's see. The solder's on. Where's my suction cup? Suction cup is there. Um, I have plastic bits to actually pry the thing open. I believe there's no adhesive. I think it says there's adhesive in the back and the bottom part over here. I don't believe that at all. I believe that there's no adhesive in this thing. Um, this thing has a camera and a screen, which means there will be ribbon cables, which are from the top here. Yeah. For that, I have this Olympus EPL1 to actually hold the thing for me. See? So then you wanna pull this thing up here. Yeah. This is what I used to do with the iPhone 6Gs. You pull the screen from the middle, not from the side, from the middle, middle. Then it'll actually show you a small gap over here, yeah? And then you put your pry tool, which in, case, in my case is this card thingy, stick it in here and then pull it down to the bottom. Then the whole thing will come off. On the iPhone 6s, sometimes you're actually lucky, so you can put it from here, yeah? And the whole bottom thing comes up. So that's for the iPhones, but for this it's quite different, I believe, yeah? I've never had an iPod before. So, 
this is a first for me as I speak so let's push this thing onto the center edge over here basically yeah nice and see this thing has a cap which I can penetrate okay I feel like I've pulled the screen up but not the plastic backing for the screen what the fuck is wrong with this iPod man yeah I've pulled the screen up let's try the heat gun okay so I do not believe that there are any adhesives under the bottom bit there but I'm not sure so let us this fly tool back down there okay Yeah, we are actually going places. Okay, nice, 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 nice. So, can we just mm, 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 slide this guy in? So there are adhesives. Okay, so it looks quite disgusting. Okay, so um, next I'm gonna have to unscrew the thing itself, the back plate, yeah, as you can see over here. These things have different lengths if they're Apple. If they're not Apple, if they're not Apple, they're usually the same length. But this is Apple, yeah, so they're all the same length. I'm um, different lengths. You wanna put them in order. Like say you remove these two, you put them on the top. Then these two and these two and these two. There should be twelve. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay. Mm, I think there's more. Yeah. There looks like one more over there. One, two, three, four, f five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay. So yeah, there are twelve. In theory. So we shall try and open this guy up first. Take this guy off. I believe I can make this thing slightly cleaner by like wiping it down with a clean Q tip. Or a used Q tip in my case, yeah. It's actually quite clean here. Yeah. This thing is only seen used in wiping an aperture blade. So yeah, it's quite clean. Quite clean actually. Next you wanna peel this thing off. Actually it doesn't need to get peeled yet because it's already not sealed. Um let's see the original one. They have different colors though, yeah. So yes. It's an Apple logo. This thing doesn't have an Apple logo, see? So this thing doesn't seem very original, I'm not sure do you? Has it been tinkered with? I'm not sure, but I think it might be tinkered with. So this might not be an original, but this looks like exactly the same as this. So maybe it's the same thing. But this thing has an Apple logo, this thing doesn't. It says OPC 1322021 slash 1, I mean 821 slash 1508 slash A. So, this thing, uh, I'm not sure. Top, top, okay. Let us now check the polarity because some of these components, yeah, these like cheap ass components, actually did come with swap polarities, yeah, which is something you actually have to worry about in Chinese parts. At least back in the day, I'm not sure about now, but this thing is an old thing, so. Minus. Minus, nice. So let's now put this one thing here off. So I can actually say for sure that this thing is the correct polarity. Do I have any adhesive? Let's see. I don't believe that I have any adhesive at all. I think I do, but I'm not sure where the fuck I should have adhesive. Just, I'm gonna say I do not have any adhesive. Let's see if I can actually find it. So I'm gonna just use some Rub this in and glue this thing down that way. Not the best way, but it works, so yeah. It's my thing anyway, I'm not selling it, so I don't have to worry about customer complaints. If it falls off, I'm just gonna have like thirsting for a kid. So, where's the glue line? Why? 
seems to be enough. We can now <laughs> push. I'm gonna have to buy some more Guya soon, but that's what. So, push this thing back in here. Making sure to fold this. Actually, you can fold it any way you want, yeah. So, just push it like this and shove it down into the slot right there. Nice. It's actually stuck in quite well, yeah. So, it's not gonna go anywhere, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so then you can see this. You just thin the patch itself. And then, and then I'm gonna go push it down with something metal like this cutter. This should fit under this thing, so let's put the tape back on. And let's see how well this actually fits. If it doesn't fit, I'm not sure what the fuck will fit. So many mosquitoes, my family. So, so done. This thing is on. Or this thing on. For some reason, it doesn't want to get turned on manually, but, yeah, but it actually will turn on when you plug the power in. It's quite odd, but so So overall, it's done. You just need to like push the thing down, and you're done. My battery and my action cam is dying, so I'm just gonna go say thank you, goodbye, and have a nice day. And yeah, this thing's at eight percent. I think this thing will die five percent this cam, yeah, because it's not an original battery. I think, but so So this thing actually does work. Just gonna press this whole thing down. There you go. It's actually working. Let's see if this goes new. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for watching and goodbye.